What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi. So I just realized that I haven't actually made any videos that are actually furry related. Like the only reason anybody would know that I'm a furry based on looking at my channel, it's because I put on a big dog suit every time I make a video. But I've actually never even referenced, I don't even think I've said the word furry. So Hello, obviously, I'm a furry, and I wanted to do a video about Twitter. Namely, furry Twitter drama. Because, whoo boy, that stuff is spicy. Mmm, hot stuff right there. And the... The problem is that everyone gets so roped into it and I hear a huge complaint from from just all over the place is is what happened to the fandom where why are there so much politics in the fandom wah 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 boo hoo the fandom got too political and two things I'm holding two fingers right two things uh one it hasn't. It hasn't actually gotten any more political than it once was. Uh, the furry fandom has always been a very, very leftist, a very liberal community because it's been an outlier. Normal fucking people don't wear dog suits and do the normal people aren't furries, especially not Republicans. So like conservative furries, just don't make sense. But you know what? You know what? I've met conservatives. They sometimes have good points. Not lately, but you know, you, you can take your sides. It's hard. It's complicated. Uh, but there's been a lot of gay people in the fandom, and that's always been something that is very leftist. Uh, there's a lot of people of color in the fandom. That's for some reason a leftist ideal, even though it's, you know, just called being a human being. Um, but the thing is, is that the fandom hasn't gotten more political. Now, here's the catch. Here's the catch. Um, I feel like a lot of the fandom has become more connected. I've been a furry for over 10 years. And 10 years ago, it wasn't like it is today. For one, furry Twitter didn't exist. And I think that's where everybody's getting their panties in a bunch is the fact that Twitter has been getting political, has been bringing politics into the fandom. Whereas beforehand, like when I first was a furry, I joined a small little chat room. I had maybe 20 people that I was able to talk to regularly. And then every once in a while, you know, I'd say hi to someone on Fur Affinity or, you know, someone would like my art or whatever. But I only had this very, very tight-knit group. And I feel like that's starting to kind of melt away, especially as the fandom becomes larger and becomes more connected. It is more connected than it's ever, ever been. I am meeting complete randos in... Well, okay, they're not complete randos. They're dear friends of mine. But I've been meeting people locally here. And a lot of them know at least one pop you fur that I look up to. And here's the catch, here's the catch, here's the catch. It hasn't really ever been like this, but it's just gotten so much bigger and has now gotten more of a platform. And that platform, again, it's called Twitter. Now, 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 you're like, oh man, but, but, but it has gotten more political. I don't remember talking about politics all the time, you know? I don't remember Black Lives Matter being the forefront of our conversation. I don't remember trans rights being the forefront of our conversation. And you're right. Generally, that wasn't a problem in those groups. You know, people were generally respected for their identities. And... You know, you didn't have the chat room and everybody flamed on the trans kid. That just wasn't a thing. However, now furry has entered the public domain. I mean, not literally the copyright world, but like furry is now known by a lot more people. And now that they're using Twitter, which is a public platform, your trans friends and minority friends are getting flamed. They're literally being attacked 
in public. This is normal. This is part of being a minority. People hate you for some reason. It sucks. But that means that they want to talk about it. That means that it's now a subject that they feel the need to bring up because it's not just them and their furry friends. Yes, I don't hate trans people. I don't hate black people. I don't hate anybody. But I'm not who they're trying to talk to. If you really think that there is true equality, you're not the one they're talking to. You're not the one who needs to stop being a piece of shit. Of course, unless you are. But trying to silence people, trying to say, get politics out of my fandom, that's bad. You need to stop saying that because there is always going to be politics as long as dumb things are made political. Human rights should not be a political statement. But here's the thing. It is. It is political. And Twitter, Twitter, Twitter is a political platform. That's the thing. That's the thing that's absolutely going to blow your mind. Twitter has always been the forefront of major political discussion. That's what it does. That's what it's used for. You know, lately it kind of became the new Tumblr, but it's still the forefront of political discussion. That's why you see so much more politics than you ever did before because you're on the platform that discusses it. When I go into these little small communities, like, like I just go on Reddit. There is no political discussion on Reddit. Everyone's gay and minority and they're proud of it and no one gives them shit for it. But on Twitter, someone's gonna give you shit for it. That's part of Twitter. It's full of political divisiveness. So if you think that the fandom has gotten more political, just get off Twitter, dude. Literally, you're on a politics platform. Twitter is where, you, where people get their news. If it wasn't for Twitter, I wouldn't actually know what's going on in the world. 90% of the random things I know about the world, I get from Twitter. You know where I don't get it? Reddit. Or the little telegram groups I'm in. Or Fur Affinity. I don't get this information on those platforms. But I do on Twitter. Again, it's a political platform. It's a news platform. It's a platform specifically designed to be a center for world events. So, please, stop saying the furry fandom has gotten more political. Stop saying that you think that all lives matter and we should just get along because we already do. But there's people outside of our community who do not get along and we need to work to change that. So just shut up. <laughs> just shut up, please. Please stop saying that the furry fandom is going down some dark path that it's definitely not going. Honestly, one of my favorite things that the furry fandom does is it holds people freaking accountable. If you like weird stuff, and I don't mean like anthro animals, I mean like little kids, you can leave and we will make sure that you feel unwelcome. Because that's what the right thing to do is. It doesn't mean we're unaccepting it means that we don't want people to abuse people here so the camera just kind of stopped recording uh right when i made that last point um i think i made my point twitter is for politics if you think the fandom has gotten more political go somewhere else where you're not on a literal political platform and enjoy the fandom that's it that's all anyway that's the video thanks so much for watching bye bye